let's start again. Hi, this is John from EmergePA.ca. Today I thought I'd demonstrate using an ultrasound to cite for a hematoma block. Today I'm using a radius because the most common fracture that we use this for in our emergency department is with a Coley's fracture. I find that since I've been using this, when I draw back I get blood much more often than I did before. As a matter of fact, I've never missed using this. I always get blood when I draw back from doing, uh, when you go to inject. And I find that once I draw back, if I get blood, I almost always get really good anesthesia. Whereas if I don't get blood, which happened fairly regularly before I was using the ultrasound to help me with this, then I would get much less analgesia and the patient would have much more pain. So that's why I like to use this procedure. So you'll see in this first slide, you have the ultrasound probe and it is placed with the axis of the ultrasound probe at a 90 degree or perpendicular to the long axis of the radius. When you do that, what you're going to do, see on your ultrasound, is an arc that looks like this. You'll see that bright white arc across the ultrasound. And here you'll see I've highlighted it with yellow to show you what I'm talking about. So that represents the radius. And this next slide here just shows you approximately the position of what you're going to see as though it was on the arm. In this you'll notice that the radius is actually a little bit bigger than it would be in real life, but for representative purposes it shows you what we're doing. Then what you do is you turn your probe 90 degrees so that you're running along the long axis of the radius so that you're parallel to and hopefully right over top of it. And you should see a line like this. You see that bright white line in the middle of your ultrasound view? That represents the top of your radius. Again, next picture here shows you that I'm overlying the radius on top. Again, this is a little bit bigger than what you would actually see in your ultrasound view. Again, they're representing your radius. Now what you're going to do is you're simply going to slide that ultrasound probe distally along the radius until you see the fracture site. And the fracture site is going to look like this. You see a white line that's broken up as you see there and there you see I've put the two yellow lines that indicate where the top lines the top part of the radius is where it's broken and in between that is your break. Now all you're going to do is you're simply going to take your surgical marker sorry I've got a picture of a highlighter instead but it'll do for the purposes of this and you put a little dot uh, that dot if you notice there's a set of dotted lines that go up from the ultrasound image that's the center of your probe. That's where you put that dot. And if you use a surgical marker or an industrial Sharpie, that mark should stay there. You can then use that to cite for doing your hematoma block. Using this method, I've never missed. I found that it gives me better analgesia for the patient, assuming that sometimes I miss when I'm doing it without this, which I don't know about you, but I sometimes do. Anyway, I hope this works as well for you as it has been for me. Good luck. Happy ultrasounding.